All right, guys, we're inside Tesla Model 3. Check it out. Nice, beautiful, big iPad kind of screen. Look at that sunroof. It's slightly tinted. That's nice, so it won't burn your head, hopefully. Well, more importantly, I've got right here two EMF meters. I know a lot of people have been asking, A, how much EMF is pumping here? And, uh, oh. So it's at 50 to 100. <laughs> I was hoping it would be less. Wireless radiation has biological effects. Then where are all rankings? What's going to happen is we're going to see cyber very quickly now turn very black. That it will be impossible to walk outside without exposing yourself to this radiation. Because Smartphones should never be within about an inch of the body. Hundreds of pregnant women, 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. Just, I really wanted a Tesla because it's a good price. But it's buzzing at 100 just in the cabin itself. So 100 is kind of like the distance you get from a mobile phone when you're right next to it. I'm gonna turn the screen off to see what's going on there. 120, it's pulsing right now. Not sure why. See, I'm right next to the fridge and it's completely nothing is happening outside here. Now when the microwave is off, you can see, well, it's barely nothing, zero, zero coming out of this fella. But when we turn it on, see that from this distance, we're getting 300, 360 milliwatts per meter squared, about half a meter away. The levels have dropped down to 100 milliwatts per meter squared. So that's the kind of levels you're getting when you're using mobile data, Wi-Fi, uploading and downloading data right next to you. So yeah, using your phone next to your head is like this much away from a microwave oven. That's a hundred and you got a hundred in the cabin here, everywhere. It goes out to about, yeah, it's, it's a hundred, it's just a hundred everywhere basically in this car. And you, it's on, but you're not, you're not driving. It gets, it's everywhere actually. 75 back here. So it's just, it's buzzing at the moment. I don't know if maybe this is a demonstrator one. It goes up to 150 over here. Try this baby. Alright. So we took a test drive yesterday. We were wiped out, yeah, and I did get a headache afterwards. But I was saying it was because we were wiped out. Yeah. So this is like you got a big mobile phone just constantly around you. Maybe just take it for a drive and let's just see if it changes as you drive. Maybe it's just starting up and it will low down. Yeah, maybe it's got like its cameras beaming up some information. It's 100, that's a lot. And your phone's on airplane, so. All right guys, so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for a spin. Nora's trying out the Tesla for the first time. Yesterday I tried it out. Okay, we're gonna accelerate from 40 to 60, ready? Yeah. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> and it was really good accelerator. I really liked the car, I really wanted to order one. But Nora was just saying, hey, you know what? I've got a bit of a headache, so let's just try out with the EMF situation. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, no, come on, man. It's like, it's five years down the road. They would have sorted out any EMF issues by now. But it's 125 okay. milliwatts per meter squared at the moment, and that's just mental. Okay. So it's like a mobile phone, when you stick this right next to it, is 100. A microwave oven goes to 300. So it's like a third of a microwave oven constantly baking you, but we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna let, get it go and see if it changes. Good luck. All right, it's turned on right now, anyhow. So I just need to work out how to Headache was move. genuine. I feel like I'm getting tummy pains again. I might just do okay, this. Okay, let's just do a quick spin. Quickly. How do I drive? You gotta shift, shift into there, so the right. Oh, yeah. So it's just obviously driving a bit slow. It's dropped down to, okay, 50 to 100. And you're driving right now. So that's the 125, 70. So the lowest we're getting is 50. You're obviously driving slow. And so it is dropping down now. We're gonna go closer to where my seat is. And it's getting down to 50. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're gonna we're gonna head outside of Tesla HQ because maybe there's too much EMF in the actual center. So we're gonna go to a slightly quieter place because maybe it's just got lots of Wi-Fi in the center. So maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe it's not the car. So let's do that. Okay, let's just see. 
How are you finding the drive anyway? Let's just get you it's out of here. It's an easy drive. How do I indicate this one's in? Yeah, it's an easy drive for sure. I guess the regenerative braking takes a bit of getting used to, but after a while you do get used to it. Very easy, um, no problems at all. It's very smooth, it's very quiet. Like, I, I feel safe while I'm driving this car. The only issue that I had, and I had this issue yesterday when I was driving it, is I got a bit of stomach ache. And it only happened when I jumped into this car. And I don't know if that's just me and my brain, but it is the same feeling as I got last time. So I do wonder if that's the EMF, I'm not sure. So we're getting further and further away from Tesla HQ. And the numbers are dropping. So you're no longer into the 50 and 100. So look right there, that's, that's three milliwatts there. That is a massive drop. That is a massive drop there. So that's more comfortable. I'm happy about that. I mean, it's a lot, but I'm ha happier about those. Those numbers are low. Wow. <laughs> low. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like you've got a Bluetooth headphones around you right now. And just in your ear, between your brains, it goes up to one milliwatt. So you get one milliwatt of those. All right, that's a bit of a relief. So they've dropped down from the 100 milliwatts down to the five milliwatts. So I think what's happening is maybe when we were at Tesla HQ, it might have been communicating to Tesla HQ using Wi-Fi, but when we went out of range, it probably switched over to the modem. So it's now communicating via the cell networks. I'm just assuming based on the amount of milliwatts that's flying around around me. So it, before, it probably had a strong connection, constantly doing some stuff, preparing itself, but now it's, it's, it's actually dropped. We're at two milliwatts right now. Whew. Okay, how are you feeling now? Yeah. Cool, I'm still a bit dubious. No, no, it's good. It's all right now, yeah? All right, guys, we just put it into park mode. So we are around 100 meters away from Tesla. Is that right? 100, 200 yeah, meters? Yeah, about that, yeah. We have a couple of blocks away. And it's at, look, it's, it's, that's microwatts. So that's what you want to, you want to be seeing that UW, microwatts. That's what you want to be seeing. Some people still complain about 1,000 microwatts, which is one milliwatt. People complain about that. Everyone's a bit sensitive for some reasons, but it's no longer 100. So it's now at the one milliwatt level. So that's nicer. Maybe the, that's the 2.5, it jumps to 30 every now and then. I guess it's constantly getting signal and if you're gonna be watching, I just don't understand why it's here. Like if the modem is, maybe the antenna runs straight through the car. So it creates some sort of field around you. But right now we're at one milliwatt and we're around the block. So that's, gonna have to think about it. I mean, this is one milliwatt, but if you are in the market for a car today, every single car manufacturer has gone the way of Tesla. They are all constantly, they've got modems built into their cars. I need to really get an EF beta on all the cars, but if you go into Mercedes, they've got Mercedes me constantly spying on you. The, the dealership lady, the salesperson was saying, we're like CSI Miami. They can just jump in, you know, layers what it is, Ford, they also connect to you. Every single car have all, all these smart features. So really to be fair, this one milliwatt level may just be the standard in all the cars today. Like when it was at 100, that was a bit, you know, come on my friend, you got a mobile phone right to your head, wherever you are. But maybe that's just because you're in Tesla HQ, it's got some sort of, they're doing something for the service center, they need all the diagnostics, I don't know. But I do know all of these newer cars, they do have the AM radio disabled. So if you look there, it says FM radio only because they use that frequency to communicate with their components is for the electric motors. But we're getting around down to two levels, which I guess if I saw two, two milliwatts at the beginning, I'd be like, well, that's a bit a lot. But the fact that it started off at hundreds and it's dropped down to two is more reassuring. And I'm seeing the face of you and I don't know what you're thinking. I saw this thread on Reddit where some people were saying that every time they step into their Tesla, they get ringing of the ears or they get headaches and their wife is sick. And you know, and then some people were saying, well, you, sh you should just wrap your head in tin foil. But looking at the numbers, yes, there's a low grade of EMF being pumped out, but maybe there is some truth. Some people perhaps are just more sensitive to others to EMF radiation. Perhaps it's not the right car for you. So this is an enlightening experience. That's all I can say. It's very enlightening. The car off, like. It's on standby. So right now, it does shoot up to 41 for, I think they just must run the antenna all around it. So that's one milliwatt right there. It's like Bluetooth headphones, not AirPods. AirPods are mental, but it's like Bluetooth headphones. I'll go around the back. Around the back, maybe this is most considerate location. You got 
child seats here, baby seats here. So hopefully this is lower. So you got 65, two, one, two, six, four. So the highest I see it go was 65. But generally, it's in UW microwatts, not milliwatts. So that was just a quick test of the Model 3. Uh, I think what's good is it wasn't, it isn't as high as it was when you were at Tesla HQ, so that's nice. And when you're on about, it does go down. That being said, what would be a fair comparison is to compare it to the newer Mercedes, BMWs, all those cars that have those modems built inside Fords with those smart features, even Porsches have those smart features to see what lev levels they have now because I think it might just be a modern car phenomenon that um, is the state of play of today. Something you need to remember is this is a demo car. They probably have the microphones on, beaming back to base, diagnostics, you know, to make sure you don't get in an accident. So I'm just going through the settings here and data sharing. Do you agree to allow us to collect data? Maybe if you turn that off, that might help. Obviously, I can't do this in this car, it's a demo car. And also, I think something else to consider is, in the settings, in autopilot, it does have auto steer on beta. So maybe the ones that are beta means that it has to send extra diagnostics. So maybe those features, that especially with, when it comes to um, data sharing, because it do you allow us to collect data? So obviously, we can't test it out in this demo car, but there's, some diagnostics that you might be able to disable which might reduce the modem from constantly sending lots of data. So that might help out. Mm -hmm. I like the sounds it makes. It's very quiet. It's very, it might be too big for this one. <laughs> Wireless radiation has biological effects. Then where are all brain cancers? What's going to happen is we're going to see cyber very quickly now turn very black. That it will be impossible to walk outside without exposing yourself to this radiation. Because the smartphone should never be within about an inch of the body. Hundreds of pregnant women, 2.72 times more likely to have miscarriages. All right, guys, so we parked up in the same spot. This is a, a pre, it's not prehistoric. It's the newer Mustang. Obviously, it's got basic features compared to Tesla. And as you can see here, we are on UW. So this is microwatts right now. So before, in a Tesla, you're getting around one to two, and every now and then it jumps to 20. One to two in the same location. Here, it's more microwatts level. So yeah, you're getting more in the smart car. But this one just jumped up to almost one over here. So maybe it's two or three times worse or better depending on how you view it than you know one of the older cars but that being said there is those diagnostic features that you can disable on a tesla which may reduce the amount the radio is used so it's not as bad and hopefully i'm just trying to justify buying one <laughs>